Hello, this is meteorologist Aaron McCollum with the National Weather Service in Flagstaff in Northern Arizona. I'm going to briefly discuss with you a few of the more common weather patterns we see during our winter months. The first pattern you see here is the snow pattern. Usually that low emanates from the North Pacific, moves across California, and swings into Arizona. Along the way, it picks up Pacific moisture and draws down cold air from the polar region. This storm can, type of storm can result in widespread snow across northern Arizona. Uh, it's a type of storm, if it's strong enough, you wake up in the morning and that's when you see the 20 or 30 inches on your picnic bench. In addition, depending on the path of the low, the lowest deserts can see some snow in this particular pattern. Another typical pattern is what we like to call the inside slider because it mostly moves inland and the flow is mostly dry and over land. The low moves in from Washington and Oregon across Nevada and swings across Arizona. A fast moving cold front usually produces some precipitation and snow, but it's usually short lived and doesn't amount to too much. More significant with this pattern is the cold air that moves in and produces dry, cold northeasterly winds for a day or days. And I think we're all familiar with those. They happen a few times each winter. Finally, we've got what we call a more of a warm and wet pattern. The low comes in from the Central Pacific, skirts the Southern California coast, and then moves along the southern border of California and Arizona. This path draws up mild subtropical air into Arizona and produces an elevated snow level. So below 7,000 feet, essentially below the elevation of Flagstaff, we mostly see rain with this pattern. It can go either way at those Mogollon Rim elevations, but we typically still see mainly snow at elevations in the White Mountains, the, uh, the San Francisco Peaks, and the Kaibab Plateau. So that kind of wraps up the, the, the basic patterns that we see during the winter. It's more, there's more details in that, but this, uh, these are the main three patterns that we see. I hope this helps you understand the weather a little more and you found it at least mildly interesting. Once again, this is meteorologist Darren McCollum with the National Weather Service in Flagstaff, and I thank you for your time.